Hi guys and welcome to the Seller Board Show. My name is Lottie Gordon. My today's guest is Joe Reisfeld from uh, ecommerceoptimizer.com and uh, we talked about Pinterest. So um, if you are serious uh, into this private label game on Amazon uh, and um, if you're really uh, trying to build up your brand then Pinterest is a resource that um, you should uh, take a look at because uh, Pinterest is pretty huge and it can generate you tons of um, organic traffic in the very uh, targeted organic traffic. So for example, if you're selling sports products, uh, then you can build up a presence on Pinterest and Pinterest will promote your posts or your pins, uh, they call them pins, to people interested in sports, even, they're not, if, even if they're not your followers. Uh, and uh, this can generate tons of um, traffic, free traffic for you uh, after you've built up uh, a certain presence on Pinterest and um, should be used by, uh, by any brand as, a, as one of the traffic sources. Um, and uh, you can point them directly to your Amazon uh, product or to a landing page or to a Shopify store if you have, some, uh, if you have one. So um, I hope this will be useful for you. And um, we didn't talk uh, a lot about Pinterest uh, on our show yet. So uh, it was at least very, uh, very new for me. Um, please make sure you give us a like if you like this kind of content and subscribe to our channel. We're bringing up those videos uh, regularly. And uh, before we start, if you're an Amazon seller and you haven't heard of Sellerboard yet, then uh, go ahead and check out uh, Sellerboard.com. The link is in the description. Uh, Sellerboard is our financial analytics service for Amazon FBA sellers with a ton of um, additional tools and add-ons, for example, a PPC optimization module or um, a module which finds uh, goods damaged and lost by Amazon and helps you get uh, reimbursed for those uh, goods and inventory manager and um, a lot of other stuff and all that for uh, st starting at $19 a month with a free trial. So uh, please uh, follow the link in the description to get the one month free trial. Now let's start the show. Hello everybody and welcome to the next episode of the Seller Board Show. My name is Vladi Gordon and uh, today I'm joined by Joe Reichsfeld from uh, ecommerceoptimizer.com. Hello Joe. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing great, how are you? Fantastic, thank you. Um, you uh, Joe just uh, shared with me before we started recording that it's 3 a.m. in uh, Arizona. So I think uh, this makes you the latest, uh, <laughs> the latest uh, show, I guess, uh, uh, in terms oh. of uh, time of day. Late night. Late night, exactly. <laughs> um, it's actually morning in, uh, in Germany. I think we've, mm -hmm. we actually never had this set up, morning, my time, and uh, like such late night uh, in the US. So um, yeah, um, Joe, why don't you tell us um, quickly about yourself and uh, how did you um, get in, or start uh, in, in this uh, Amazon universe and in general e-commerce? Well, um I was actually in the restaurant business for 20 years before mm -hmm. e-commerce. Uh, but my ex-wife is real artsy and she had painted cow skulls all around her house. And uh, I wanted to get rid of them, wanted to find mm -hmm. a place to sell them. So uh, I opened up a custom Southwest furniture and art website in 1999. Uh, mm -hmm. And we started selling them. Uh, Amazon was, you know, just a book thing then. Uh, but, I was able to do put listings on Amazon and uh, put my website actually on my listings then. So I used Amazon to funnel business actually funnel traffic to my website. Um, mm -hmm. I was a, I was a beta tester for go to and overture for the original PPC in wow. 1999 and 2000. Yeah. I remember owning all my words for four cents a piece. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Right. The good old days. Um, so I sold that business for cash long time ago. It's still in business. Um, and since then, I've, I've worked with all different uh, e-commerce groups and, and sellers. Um, I, I personally have sold on Amazon, eBay, Jet, uh, uh, Monster E-commerce, Buy.com, mm -hmm. Rakuten, Newegg, uh, Shopee, and I'm sure there's a couple others that I'm that I'm missing. Oh my um, God. I have clients on 12 different platforms right now worldwide. And I have some that are just on the website only that are mm -hmm. I've one doing a million a week website only. 
Oh, wow. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of money to be made on the internet. And, you know, like we were talking, the internet makes the world really small. Um, so it's cross-border commerce is, is really easy. How cool is that? So tell me, do you also have like experience with, uh, with private label products yourself? Have you been uh, selling any? Um, right now, I'm not selling any because I, I don't compete with my clients. Mm -hmm. um, in the, I have a lot of corporations as clients as well, and uh, it's, it would be unprofessional if I were selling. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when things go sideways, they want me to focus on their problems, not my sure. own. Yeah. Um, and I, I see that as an issue sometimes with, with some of the people that, that do this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my job is to work for, for you if you're my client, not for my, not to tell you I'll be with you later because I'm busy doing my own thing first. Yeah. Well, um, I think I understand this conflict of interest for sure. We had this uh, as well because I was a seller, an FBA seller myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we started Seller Board, we're like a uh, um, profit analytics and financial analytics service for Amazon sellers. Mm -hmm. I decided to sell my business for basically uh, this was the yeah, same yeah, reason. It's, it's, it's too much. You, you can't, you can't be great at either because mm -hmm. you're split. Yeah. You know, okay. and you both deserve your time. So, um, maybe my, but, but, but still like, did, did you have experience with selling and launching, uh, FBA private label products, um, on, yes. on your own? Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Can, can we maybe I, talk about this? So when, when did you start with private label on uh, Amazon? 2009. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, wow. 2009. That was That's a long time. Very early. Yeah. And how, how was it back then? Like, uh, uh, it was just like know? it is now. It was just like it is now. A lot of BS. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, a lot. There's always, I mean, it's, it's, it's like Groundhog Day. Selling on mm -hmm. Amazon is like Groundhog Day. You know, the groups, they come, they, they it gets sifted out. They, they leave, you know, the scan. If there's always some angle going on, mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, I've, I've lived through Amazon doing mass suspensions before. Um, and it's, it's just, it's the same old thing. And all you, the best thing you can do is, you know, keep your nose to the, to the ground and work your ass off and stay honest. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the scammers, the scammers from two years ago are gone. The scammers that are there right now, they'll be gone in another year. You know, I mean, the, the scammers don't last. Mm -hmm. None of them last. It's the people that, you know, the people that are in the groups that were there two years ago are the honest people that are working their asses off. Uh, and it's not that hard to do. You don't have to cheat. Cool. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about, I know that a lot of scam is uh, happening around uh, like launch and uh, mm -hmm. taking reviews and so on. And um, uh, I would like to talk about that uh, with you because I know you have a, a method, but maybe before we get into this, tell us about your, um, current business, e-commerce-optimizer.com. Um, we'll, we'll put the link in the description, by the way, but uh, tell us just quickly, what, what kind of consulting are you doing for clients and, um, and what are the focus what I'm What I'm doing is I'm doing a lot of coaching with mm -hmm. for small and medium-sized businesses. Mm -hmm. um, I still have my other business that has a, a lot of large corporations as well, but um, I'm focusing on small and medium-sized sellers uh, to help them understand that they can compete against the big sellers, the, the big corporations. They have their faults just as much as small sellers have, have their, have their faults. Um, and you know, you, you can compete against Amazon just because Amazon owns the platform doesn't make them perfect. There are ways small sellers can offer things that Amazon can't like customer service, mm -hmm. you know, and they can focus on the customer. Um, but what I offer is I offer a lot of coaching. Uh, I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching with clients. Uh, I, I focus on teaching them how to build communities so that they don't have to rely on Amazon. When you rely on Amazon for all your traffic, you're at their mercy. When uh -huh. you're driving your own traffic to Amazon, if that's what you want to do, you're supplementing the traffic that Amazon is sending you. So now you're even harder to, to beat than mm -hmm. just somebody waiting, you know, just somebody using Amazon only, only traffic. And it's not that difficult. There's, there's people everywhere. You know, Amazon is not the ruler of the world. It's only 10% of the internet. You know, you're in another country. There's a lot of sellers in other countries. There's also a lot of buyers in, a, in other countries. And there's no reason why sellers don't appeal to them. Um, so I do a lot of coaching. Uh, I, I'm creating workshops inexpensive workshops for, for sellers to be able to uh, fine tune their skills. 
-hmm. And we also have just started a Pinterest launch service. So one of my first workshops was uh, Pinterest called Pinterest traffic domination it's to teach sellers how mm -hmm. to, to use Pinterest because there's a ton of traffic on Pinterest. Pinterest is the number one source of free buyer intent traffic. You can't knock that. Wow. Yeah. So, so that's, that's uh, very interesting. So Pinterest launch service, basically you're bringing um, external traffic to a new listing to, uh, to push it and basically to give it more sales at the beginning and maybe also generate reviews. Um, this is, I think this is huge. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell us, tell us about Pinterest. So I'm myself, I have um, like Facebook and Instagram and, and TikTok. Uh, and uh, I guess maybe I'm registered in some other and Pinterest for <laughs> sure, but, uh -huh. but, um, but you don't use it. <laughs> I don't use it. Right. So I don't, I don't really know what, what is Pinterest? Mm -hmm. um, Pinterest, Pinterest is an e-commerce visual search engine. It's mm -hmm. a planning website. It started as a wedding planning website and okay. it has changed as time has gone on. Well, when pe it's still a planning site, but what do you do when you plan? You spend money. Mm -hmm. So people are on Pinterest and they're looking at maybe their new vehicle or what they're going to do to their vehicle or what they want to do to their house or where they're going to go next year or what they're going to buy their kids. Um, so they're planning purchases. Some mm -hmm. things they buy then, some things they buy later. Uh, Pinterest is about to be bigger than Amazon in total worldwide membership and Twitter both. Oh, wow. Yeah. They're coming up on 350 million worldwide members, which is a lot because uh, just over a year ago, they were at 250 million. So they're growing. When you send out a tweet, the, the tweet lasts about uh, 50 minutes. When you put out a, a Facebook post, that lasts about three hours. Mm -hmm. A Pinterest pin lasts seven months. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And so how, tell me, how does it work? Like, is it like, is it like basically like a wish list um, that, that I can create on Pinterest uh, using different uh, images or um, um, you said it's a planning website? Well, you know, like we have this wall right here. Mm -hmm. Think, imagine, you know, there's whiteboards all mm -hmm. over this wall and each mm -hmm. one is, you know, one is for, camping the mm -hmm. next one is next next month's vacation mm -hmm. then uh, uh spring clothing mm -hmm. and as i see these different things that other people are p putting up businesses mm -hmm. and or just users i'm posting it on my my board to remind me mm -hmm. that hey i like that i want to mm -hmm. go back and do this mm -hmm. so every every month um pinterest users are buying things based on what they see on pinterest 90, 93% of Pinterest users state that they use Pinterest to plan purchases. 87% of them have bought something after seeing it on Pinterest. Okay. So if, you're, if your products are not listed on Pinterest, you're not getting any of those sales. That's, all, that's 300 million sales right there. And wow. you have to be on Pinterest mm -hmm. to be able to get any of those. Okay, so how does it uh, work? Like on, on Instagram, for example, somebody mm -hmm. needs to, uh, to post my product, right? So how mm -hmm. does it work on Pinterest? How do I get in, on, onto the wall of um, all those different people? So you, it, are you familiar with a RSS feed? Yes. Pinterest is basically the categories and the subcategories are all RSS feeds. Mm -hmm. So when you first sign up for Pinterest, it asks you, mm -hmm. what are you interested in? Mm -hmm. And you pick, you know, five topics. Well, you just signed up for five RSS feeds. Mm -hmm. Then every time you log into Pinterest, it fills your screen mm -hmm. with pins that are focused on those topics. Mm -hmm. So forget the word categories and topics and think keywords and long tail keyword phrases. Mm -hmm. That's how Pinterest is set up. It's, okay. it's SEO. It's mm -hmm. a search engine. So if you focus your, the SEO of your pins, the titles, your descriptions, your board names on the, ca the category names, or your keywords, then you have an opportunity to come up in one of these feeds. Okay, uh -huh. and the, the home decor feed has 28 million followers or some absurd number like that. Wow. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, so you know, let's say you sell kayaks, okay? Uh -huh. So you might have a board that might be um, outdoor, outdoors uh, fun. Then you might have a, a board that's uh, called kayaking. You might have a board called kayaking gear. 
each one of those is a category or a subcategory already on Pinterest mm -hmm. and they have followers. If you name your board, you know, Joe's weekend fun, nobody's ever going to see it because Joe's mm -hmm. weekend fun is not a category name. Mm -hmm. um, Pinterest relies on us, the sellers or the content creators to tell them what, uh, the pin is about when, when you first make it. So when you, when you put up a new listing, Pinterest wants you to be the one, first person to pin it and they want you to uh, categorize it correctly. Mm -hmm. So they're saying you as the creator, I just created this and this is what it's about. Then moving forward, anybody that creates a pin or anything that relates to that URL, all the analytics are go back to your original pin. Mm -hmm. So all the engagement, all the saves, yeah. it all comes back to the original pin. Mm -hmm. um, so your Pinterest wants our help building their search engine, building yeah. it out. And it, it really works well. Mom bloggers, they've got a made. They're driving tons of traffic on, on Pinterest and making tons of money. And you can use Amazon affiliates uh, mm -hmm. links on Pinterest now too. You no longer have to have a website to be an Amazon affiliate. You can have a Pinterest account. Okay, that sounds uh, that sounds amazing. So, um, for example, I'm sell let, let's suppose I'm selling jump ropes, right? Mm -hmm. Sports, fitness, whatever. Um, so um, I create an account and basically I tell Pinterest um, I need to enhance, maybe provide some description. So put some put in some keywords so Pinterest knows. Okay, this is a sports account. So what do I do then? Should I just post my my products? Um, so what you want, what you do is you, you create a board. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have, you're going to have, you should make five pins per URL. Mm -hmm. So all, all of your Amazon list, you know, all mm -hmm. of your Amazon images can be mm -hmm. all pins going back to that URL. Well, when you think about it, your keyword phrases for your jump rope, mm -hmm. um, you're going to have phrases. They all mean the same thing, but they're about different things. Mm -hmm. One might be about physical fitness. The other one might be about girl sports. Those mm -hmm. are two different topics. So you'd have one pin that, that it, you know, goes down that, that path and the other pin that goes down that path. When mm -hmm. you create a pin, the first thing Pinterest does is it shows it to the people that follow you. Mm -hmm. And their engagement with the pin tell, tells Pinterest whether or not it's any quality. Mm -hmm. And if they engage with it, well, then Pinterest shows it to other people that don't follow you, or, but have organically. said, mm -hmm. but, but have said, I'm into jump ropes. Yeah. So it, it's, there are people that are already looking for your product. It's warm traffic. Mm -hmm. Pinterest users spend 40% more than any other social referral. So wow. they don't need discounts. Okay. They're not, they're not looking for the discount. They're looking for, they're looking for value and they're looking for, um, quality really mm -hmm. okay so basically basically the plan is like create an, a pinterest board or pinterest account and then mm -hmm. uh find some followers uh, initially followers. right yep and and then if we post great content then uh, pinterest will give it a, a push it will push it organically to, to people who are interested in that topic which are basically exactly my target group right yes so yep, somebody pretty interested. much in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. So, and the, the you know, the, one of the things you want to do, you, okay, so you already have people that follow you, you know, mm -hmm. or, or, or buy, you know, buyers that like your product or like your mm -hmm. brand. They might follow you on Facebook. Cross promote all your social channels. So you tell your YouTube group about your mm -hmm. Facebook and about your, you know, you want to cross promote them because your most mm -hmm. fanatical followers are going to be the ones that follow you everywhere. And mm -hmm. they're going to be the ones that, always engage for you. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, Pinterest is like Facebook in that if you share something that nobody's ever seen before, nobody's ever going to see it. But if you share other people's um, pins, you know, uh, relevant pins that are related to yours, but that have sharing already, just like going to buzz sumo, you know, mm -hmm. and looking for a, uh, an article that's already been shared put it on your Facebook to build followers on Facebook. You kind of do the same thing to build your following on, on Pinterest. Mm -hmm. You know, you go to your competitors. If somebody's following your competitor because they sell jump ropes, they're mm -hmm. probably going to like your jump ropes too. They just don't know who you are yet. 
-hmm. So you follow, you know, you follow the most engaged users of your competitors and the most engaged influencers in your category, you know, and everybody starts following each other. If you follow people that have no followers and never pin anything, Mm -hmm. you're never not going to get anywhere. It's, it's quantity, it's quality over quantity. You can have a small following, but if they're engaged, that's what matters. Um, I'd like to share something as you were talking, actually, I opened mm-hmm. Pinterest and searched for a jump rope. Um, mm-hmm. And um, I think it's maybe you guys can do it um, as well uh, in, in parallel to watching uh, this video. So um, basically, I clicked on the first uh, search result. And it was a kind of a, a poster with, um, um, with instructions how to jump optimally using a jump rope. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I clicked on it and, and actually, what you were just telling, I, I see here, it's a, it's an account um, of a company. It looks like a company uh, who's selling some fitness stuff, uh, fitness supplies. And uh, they have a ton of followers here and uh, they're constantly like, posting pictures with some content um, about sports and fitness. And it's not just mm-hmm. jumping ropes, right? Right. But the um, big exactly, picture. I think that's exactly what they're doing. So um, tell me what possibilities do we have on Pinterest to uh, promote our product? So, okay, I got it. We kind of set up, set up a profile, uh, start following our competitors, followers, they follow us back. Maybe we share this. Um, now, when we post, let's say content and instructions, instructions about jumping, um, mm-hmm. how do I put, integrate my product in there? Well, I'm not, I'm not your am, average Amazon seller. Mm-hmm. I look at the big picture okay? mm-hmm. on Amazon. Amazon is the cash register. People mm-hmm. go to Amazon. They're ready to buy. You mm-hmm. hear these stories that, that the Amazon pushes that, you know, 66% of all product searches mm-hmm. are done on Amazon. They're probably right. But mm-hmm. before they get to Amazon, they, they are realizing they have a problem. They're researching the problem. They're looking at reviews and comparisons. They're on Google searching. They're on Pinterest planning things out. They are earlier in the buyer journey than just the people that are at Amazon Mm -hmm. waiting to to buy. So it it helps if you create some content. And if you have a website, it's optimal if you have a a website. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have a website, have an article written from some place like text broker for 20 bucks about physical fitness and post it on medium Mm -hmm. and link that to your, to your, um, your Facebook account or your, your Pinterest account or your Amazon account. You want to tie them all together. So that way, you know, the person that's going to that pin that might not be ready to buy your jump rope yet, but they're interested Mm -hmm. in learning about fitness and Mm -hmm. getting to that next stage they might go to that piece of content and you get an opt in there. Yeah. And then, then they're your, they're your buyer before they're Amazon's customer. Mm-hmm. And that's the name of the game, building your mailing list. So you have, you have a little bit of both, you know, some people will be ready to buy, but the type of pin that you put up is, is also going to determine that you have window shoppers and you have people that are ready to buy. So it, it mm-hmm. comes down to using the right keywords as well. Mm-hmm. Are you going to put, buy a jump buy buy a jump rope today as a keyword phrase mm-hmm. um on a physical fitness type post or on a you know here's my jump rope mm-hmm. to to you know buy one whatever get one free whatever it is you know um it's you got to look at the content you know and what your message is every message is a little different not everybody is pr- um ready to have that product page just slammed yeah. in their face. Yeah, yeah um, sure. And there's a lot of people that just, that's all they do. You know, they offer the, the product page. That's why chat, one of the reasons chat bots and the chat flow is so popular is because you're not slapping them with, with mm-hmm. that product page right away. Uh, people, n- not everybody likes that. Does it mean you would recommend to, uh to point them to some sort of a, a lead uh, page where they uh, basically type in their email or uh, some if you're going to, if you're going to point them to Amazon, mm-hmm. um, we used to recommend a, a, a lead page. Mm-hmm. 
if you're going to point them to Amazon, Pinterest prefers that you just send them right to Amazon. Mm -hmm. So Pinterest is a little bit like Google. Mm -hmm. They look at your pin. They look at the landing page. They look at the, the meta tags on the landing page. They look at the images on the landing page. Your pin needs to be about the landing page. So if you put up a pin about jumping rope and your landing page is about water skiing, they're not going to show that pin to anybody. Mm -hmm. But if you know, your jumping rope pin is about points to a landing page about jumping rope that is not spammy, mm -hmm. um, you know, then, then they're okay with it. The problem with the landing pages that I see is everybody goes for the hard sell. Um, and it's not about the hard sell. It's about creating relationships with people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people don't want to read ads. They want to read something that interests them. So when you send them to a landing page, you can have better conversions if you appeal to their needs and give them what they want. They're tr they're, they want information. They don't want, they, mm -hmm. people don't care that the, the hammer has a rubber handle. They care about the hole that the hammer is going to make, whether it's yeah. going to make the right size hole that they need. Um, so landing pages are about emotions, you know, making somebody say, wow, this does just what I need. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they go and they, they buy without reading your reviews. Uh, you know, you, it's triggering emotions, psychology. Yeah. Uh, it's not about the hard sell. The hard sell turns people off, you know, and, and I don't, I don't buy on Amazon. I'm one of those people that if you get me in your Amazon funnel, bye. Uh, so, so what we do in my business and what I do with my clients is, uh, you know, every day, five times Amazon's worldwide membership logs into to Facebook. If you're running Facebook ads, you're going to get non-Amazon buyers in your funnel. Well, what are you doing to keep them? You can mm -hmm. sign up for a Stripe account and put a Stripe button at the bottom of your landing page. You have Stripe and we also sell on Amazon. Well, mm -hmm. now you're appealing to a larger audience and you're not wasting traffic. So we, we, do, we do that. Um, you know, so our landing pages or our funnels, well, if you're a, a seller and you sell on several platforms, your funnels will have all of those platforms at the bottom of it. So that mm -hmm. anybody that goes to it, they can pay how they're most comfortable. You might not be comfortable paying on Amazon or somebody from a certain country might not be able to pay on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Give them another, give them another option. You know, some, some people like to pay on, you know, through a credit card so that, Somebody like Amazon doesn't get the fees, you know, think things along those lines. You make more money when you do that because you're not paying that fee. Yeah. So, um, I, I see, uh, there's a launch, um, course, all right. Pinterest launch course, um, on your website. So we have um, a, so a, a free course called Pinterest traffic domination. Okay. And, and that, that, that teaches a, um, a seller A to Z from the very scratch of this is how you set up your Pinterest account to this is how you develop Pinterest pins and boards and images and the whole SEO thing. Um, I share with a fire hose. So that's what I've been told. So there's a lot of information in there. Um, and you can, you'll come out of that and you'll know what to do. Uh, okay. Oh, and it's all, free. You said it's and free. That, that's free. Yep. We oh, also have separately awesome. from that, we have a paid launch service that mm -hmm. helps you get established on Pinterest. So mm -hmm. it takes a little, it takes time to get established on Pinterest. Mm -hmm. You can't go on Pinterest tomorrow and expect to be driving a Lambo by the end of next week. It's just mm -hmm. not going to happen. Mm -hmm. You have to build your, your account. Um, for a lot, for most people, it takes between three and six months to mm -hmm. really build up an account and get traction. Mm -hmm. um, you, you might have a product and run, be able to run a Pinterest ad or whatever and, and get traction right away. But for most people, it takes a little bit of time. So mm -hmm. our, my Pinterest uh, launching service establishes your account. It sets up optimized boards. Um, it sets up optimized pins that point to your products. And then when we're done, I give you this um, SEO handbook, basically that teaches you how to use Pinterest and gives you a path forward on Pinterest with keywords, mm -hmm. competitors, categories, all that. I, we do the research for you. And all you got to do is just keep moving forward with it and it'll continue to grow. So we do about three months of that six months worth of work mm -hmm. for you. Very cool. Okay guys. Um, so please check, um, check out the link in the description. Uh, we'll put a link to, to uh, Joe's website with this free course and uh, with a link to the uh, Pinterest launch service.
Thank you. So um, t tell us, you mentioned at the, at the beginning um, that you were selling on different platforms, right? And you, mm -hmm. you, you named like New Egg and Jet, and, um, which was acquired uh, now by Walmart, right? And Rakuten yeah. and so on. So um, uh, let's talk about this diversification for, for a second. So, uh, mm -hmm. you know, most of our uh, listeners are Amazon sellers. Uh, uh, what would you advise them? Where should they go in terms of uh, diversifying their sales? Uh, which platform? Um, you know, it, it, it depends on where they're located mm -hmm. and it depends on, on, you know, where their audience is. Mm -hmm. uh, plat platform should, should be determined by audience. Where mm -hmm. is your audience? Mm -hmm. um, and that, that also relates to your product. Mm -hmm. to what, where does your product fit in that? Mm -hmm. But there are, you know, there are some platforms that are better than others. Um, you know, no, for the most part, none will be as good immediate, you know, as quickly as Amazon, mm -hmm. but that's not, that doesn't mean anything though. Um, it's, you have to find, find your, define your, define your audience and find them. It, the best way to them might not be a platform at all. It might be through some forum mm -hmm. that has them all aggregated in one place. Um, it, that's really the thing, the thing to do is, find your audience. Uh, Pinterest has uh, a lot, a lot of users. Um, but there are certain things that Pinterest isn't good for. Pinterest isn't good for local businesses. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, it is better for women, female related products or position your men's products for, to appeal to a woman because mm -hmm. a woman buys things for the man. Mm -hmm. Um, so with like Pinterest ads, Pinterest, you can also pay to have pin and run Pinterest ads. Um, all any Pinterest ads that we run, we're going to categorize under health and beauty and women as, mm -hmm. as well as whatever else it needs to be categorized under because they, the women through their uh, analytics, they've, we, they've determined that women are the ones making all the purchases. Mm -hmm. So you ap appeal to women on there. Um, Pinterest through their advertising platform, uh, they'll give you search volume for keyword phrases. I suggest to any Amazon seller, whether you're advertising on Pinterest or not, set up the damn account and mm -hmm. set up a business account so you can access that keyword information because that will make your Amazon listings better because it's a lot of similar people. Interesting. Okay. So, so uh, how does this um, actually advertising on Pinterest work? Do you advertise your account on Pinterest or um, you can show you any promote, ads? With you link? promote pins. Mm -hmm. So, so they have, they have video pins. Now mm -hmm. they have carousel pins. Mm -hmm. They have app pins. You can sell your apps through there. Um, there's, you know, movie trailers on there, mm -hmm. um, but basically it's a promoted pin. Mm -hmm. uh, so, the last few years as Mark Zuckerberg was embroiled with all this controversy of privacy and stuff, mm -hmm. Pinterest took advantage of his uh, inattentiveness to Instagram and they rolled out all these big changes on Pinterest. Every, every three, four weeks, some new huge change is happening on Pinterest. So in the last few months, they've added um, a, bio, a certain type of Bible pin. If you have a Shopify site, you can upload your catalog right to Pinterest and have buyable pins. Mm -hmm. Pinterest doesn't charge you a penny for that. You don't pay any fee to Pinterest for that. Okay. Um, and so if somebody sees it, they click on your pin and it takes them right to your Shopify store and to buy. And, and it can have rich, rich uh, data on it. Uh, it can have the micro data on it. So you can have the price, you can have, you know, the, the inventory numbers, things like that. It's very simple. Um, Amazon hasn't en enabled that feature yet to be, you know, to get all the data from the listing. Um, but I think it's coming. I really do think it's coming. Amazon is starting to play a little nicer with Pinterest. Um, and, you know, just like the, uh, the affiliate link, they, they forbid yeah. affiliate links up until very recently. Mm -hmm. uh, and Pinterest, on Pinterest, you can't use link shorteners. Okay. You have, you have to use the whole link. Mm -hmm. So you can put uh, the Amazon link underneath the, um, 
yep. in the description of, of the picture mm -hmm. though, right? Okay. Yeah, e every pin should point somewhere. If you're mm -hmm. posting a pin with no title, no description, or no URL, you're wasting your time. Very cool. Oh, well. So, yep. Joe, thanks so much. Um, we're uh, running out of time. Um, I think it was very, very uh, interesting and, um, and very new to our audience. So at least, uh, I, yeah, I think, no, actually, I think we never had Pinterest in our um, show until now. So um, thanks so much for sharing. Uh, sure. We'll put all the links in the description. Tell us uh, where can our users find you? Uh, do, are you active on Facebook or um, some other social media in uh, case they want to? I have, a, I have a YouTube channel. It's okay. under e-commerce optimizer. Uh, and there's a lot of Pinterest uh, videos on there. Mm -hmm. I'm on, I'm on all the Facebook seller groups, pretty active. I have a Facebook, uh, fan page as well for e-commerce optimizer and I have my website e-commerce optimizer. Perfect. So everything will be in the description. Thanks so much. Thank and, you. Um, yeah, then, uh, have a great, I don't know, rest of the night, I guess. Perfect. You have a good day. <laughs> Thank you. Take bye care. bye. Bye bye. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you liked it. If so, then don't forget to press the like button and to subscribe to our channel. Uh, we'll see each other uh, in a week or so uh, and uh, good luck to you. Bye-bye.